Okay, so the tools we're going to need for today um, is a belt sander and a sheet sander. Uh, what I wanted to show you here is that I've taken the two and a half or the two inch um, brush and I've cut about a half inch off the top so it's nice and stiff because what we're going to be doing today is putting on uh, the fiberglass in its first coat and you'll see how effective and nice and easy it is to work. What we're also going to do is make sure that uh, we thin the glue out uh, the epoxy just out a little bit so it flows better when you're uh, applying it to the first coat um, onto the fiberglass. Uh, I want to show you basically all I use is a 120 grit paper and uh, to sand it down to get ready for fiberglass um, I use the, the belt sander right here for the finger joints and these are pretty much ready to go you can see it's all nice and clean and smooth and we're ready to put the fiberglass on top what we're going to do though before we do that is we're going to put um, masking tape along the side so if any uh, it prevents any epoxy from hitting the sides and making a mess. Also I wanted to show you if you've missed a few of the past uh, videos um, one of the things I did show you was this setup where the hose is attached and right there all that is is a recycled bottle and I take some clamps and the hose comes from Home Depot and all I do is I extend the hose right to the vacuum cleaner and it does here yeah, an amazing job it's very quick to set up and it allow your equipment to last longer plus uh, a night a better finish because it just takes all the dust out of the way when you're finishing so you can be much more accurate and it comes out smoother Okay, the fiberglass is cut and smoothed out. I smooth it out by my hands as the best that you can. The rest of it will come out once you start uh, putting the epoxy on it. And uh, there will be a little surprise underneath here, something that uh, we, the customer wanted to have custom made. And it's a bunch of turtles. And you'll see that come through on the front here when we get done. That's the scoop. Good morning. Um, this is a coat of um, second coat of epoxy, and uh, this is what I wanted to show you. The client wanted um, a piece of cloth that had turtles on it, so we put it on the top and on the side. You can't see it right now, but I will show it to you when the board is done. I also, when when I'm epoxying or varnishing, I always um, you can see masking tape with a piece of board underneath which um, brings the, um, the tape off the board and uh, so that way it when it if anything does drip as you can see right here we'll do a close-up it stays there and it doesn't go on the side of the board these things when they dry they're a pain in the neck and uh, all the this masking tape uh, setup is worth uh, its time and uh, it also allows you to freely do the board so you don't have to worry about things going down the side so you just do a much better job all around and it comes out much nicer all around believe me these drips are a pain to get out okay so that's it uh, when I'm done uh, fully epoxying the board I will show you the whole board and how it looks and then we're gonna move on to varnishing thanks